Oi lads, it's Danny here today, I bring you lot a lovely video on why this trig identity is equal to secant squared of x. Why is 1 plus tan squared of x equal to secant squared of x? So let me prove this to you, but before we jump in, please drop a like and subscribe and let's get right into it then. So the first step that you lot are going to be doing is going to be rewriting tan squared of x as sine squared of x divided by cos squared of x. So this is basically a trig identity. We know from trig identities that tan of x could be rewritten as sine of x divided by cos of x and since we've got two squared terms we've got one in the numerator denominator we just need to square it because we are tan squared of x next step is to basically get a common denominator we want to combine these two fractions and to do so we're going to multiply on the left hand fraction cos squared of x in both the numerator and denominator respectively we then are going to combine this fraction into one and what you are going to notice especially in the numerator is this is basically equal to once sine squared of x plus cos squared of x is equal to one so this could be rewritten as shown on your screen and there's also a very important trig identity which states that secant of x is equal to one divided by cos of x since we got a squared over here we're going to be having an answer of secant squared of x and obviously the left hand side matches the right hand side and therefore that implies that 1 plus tan squared of x is equal to secant squared of x. So if you enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you a lot later.